What does the future of food look like? I'm Dr. Francesca Zampolo and welcome to the fifth and last episode of this mini-series Food Design Inspirations. Five episodes, five food design projects each. Today I want to share with you five examples of food companies who are creating the future of food today. Number one, ground fridge. The ground fridge is, well, an underground fridge. It is presented as an alternative for urban farmers and rooftop farmers who, in an attempt to escape the madness of unhealthy processed food available today, just grow their own food and therefore need a place to store it. Reading from the website. The ground fridge makes use of the insulating effect of the ground and the cooling effect of the ground water. The temperature in the fridge remains stable throughout the year between 10 and 12 degrees Celsius. The ideal temperature for the storage of fruit, vegetables, wine and cheese, for example. The ground fridge has the volume of 20 regular fridges and does not consume any energy. Number two, bump mark. Bump mark is a label that tells you when the food is really expired. Reading from the website. Bump mark is a food freshness checker that reacts to the environment around it, just like fresh food does, and it updates itself. The label is checked by touch, so when it's smooth, the food is fresh, and when you feel bumps, it's time for the bean. The label only goes bad when your food does too. The label simply copies what the food inside the packaging is doing so the expiry information is far more accurate than a printed date that can never update itself. And because it's tactile, it also happens to be brilliant for people with visual impairments. Number three, growing undergrounds. Growing underground is an underground greenhouse in Clapham, UK. Paraphrasing from the website, growing underground grows microgreen and salad leaves 33 meters under the ground using hydroponic systems and LED technology to grow year-round in a pesticide-free environment provided by the forgotten tunnels of the city. Thanks to a controlled environment, the greens are unaffected by the weather and seasonal changes and so reducing the need to import crops and drastically reducing the food miles of retailers and consumers. Their hydroponic systems use 70% less water than traditional open field farming, and they are working towards carbon neutral certification. Number four, synthetic apiary. The synthetic apiary is the MIT response to the horrible problem we human beings are totally responsible for, the frightening declining of bees globally. The synthetic apiary is, reading from the website, a controlled space in which seasonal honeybee can thrive year-round. Light, humidity and temperature are engineered to simulate a perpetual spring environment. Bees are provided with synthetic pollen and sugared water and evaluated regularly for health and well-being. And this right here is the first ever bee born completely in captivity. Number five, air. Air is a breath test device that helps find the food that are most compatible with your digestive system. Reading from the website. When food isn't digested fully, a lot of it will turn into gas in the gut. Since some of this gas will pass from your gut into the bloodstream, it travels in your blood and when it reaches the lungs, it exits on your breath, where it can be measured. The technology for doing this is used in the top digestive health clinics and gastroenterology departments worldwide. These guys have adapted the technology, making it smaller, portable and more affordable for personal, everyday use. Here is how it works. You test your breath with some common carbohydrates, your data is compared to the data in the database, and then a list of food more compatible with your digestive system is suggested to you. This is it for this episode, and this also concludes this mini-series Food Design Inspirations. If there is something particular that you would like to see in this channel, 
let me know in the comments below and I'll do what I can. And also, if you're interested in food design, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to never miss another video. And if you're interested in really learning what food design is and maybe how you can become a food designer, check out the online school of food design, where there are free courses and more advanced options. As always, thank you for watching, have a lovely day and happy food design!